I wanted to specifically talk about the Ray Epps case because, I mean, even people I like um, and I think are usually pretty sensible right-wingers, um, they are all down with the with the Ray Epps conspiracy theory. Wow, they got Ann Coulter too, apparently. Not that I was ever a big fan, but far right Ann Coulter sucking up to the New York Times and bashing the right. Weird. Either she's ignorant of the facts and is also totally desperate for attention, or there's a chance that I'm completely wrong and everything we've been told about Ray Epps is totally legit, but I doubt it. I know I've done a bunch of Ray Epps videos over the past year and you should definitely go check those out when you're done here, but I just can't pass up a Ray showing like the one Ann Coulter's getting after she claimed that she could debunk the quote, whack job conspiracy theory about Ray Epps in less than two minutes. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's less than two minutes because the more she talks, the dumber her explanation gets. Look, I don't even consider myself a conspiracy theorist and I don't follow any outside of maybe the relation of government and UFOs. But anybody with a shred of critical thinking skills has many questions about the anomalies surrounding Ray Epps. Now I'm gonna show you the interview she did today with the New York Times' Jeremy Peters where she calls Tucker Carlson a wacky conspiracy theorist. Right after you take 30 seconds to consider a plan to secure your investments, especially in these times of economic decline. Dark clouds are gathering as markets shudder. Stocks are sinking. Currencies stumbling. Fear and uncertainty reign. The Middle East, Ukraine, Taiwan, the debt, it's endless. Yet one asset stands firm, gold. In crisis after crisis, gold is there in the background. Its enduring value guards against lost like a missile shield against incoming. While paper wealth burns, gold persists. Listen to me right now. Shield your savings against looming threats. War, recession, contagion, and avoid the frenzied panic of the unprepared. Fortune favors decisive action. So get a hold of gold now before it's out of reach. Right now, Noble Gold Investments offers a free five ounce America the Beautiful coin with every new IRA. Claim your free coin today to secure your financial future. As this new storm gathers, panic looms. And some of the those places that you were thinking of for your money? Well, they're not looking so clever anymore. Secure your future against disaster. Open a Noble Gold Investments IRA and claim your free bullion coin today. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com now. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. The only gold company I trust. And remember, there's always risk of investment and there are no guarantees of any kind. I wanted to specifically talk about the Ray Epps case because, I mean, even people I like um, and I think are usually pretty sensible right-wingers, um, they are all down with the, with the Ray Epps conspiracy theory. And look, Democrats do a lot of really bad things. I've spent my life covering them. Um, <laughs> I hate bureaucrats. I hate Christopher Ray, the head of the FBI. But the New York Times, sorry, I often hate the New York Times too. Weird. Had a full and complete description of why Ray Epps was there, mm -hmm. um, how he was defamed and had to sell his business and his wife. Mm -hmm. um, he was a true Trump supporter. He was going right. with his nephew. The the clip that Tucker kept playing of him saying, and then we're going to go into the Capitol or what, something like that. A human. <laughs> <laughs> that was the night before. The right. day of, he and the person he was whispering to both told the FBI separately, no, he was telling us, don't go in, don't go in, don't go in. What the actual fuck did you just say to me right now? He literally had to sell this going business he had in Arizona with his wife. It was a wedding venue. Now they're in hiding. That's a shame. I mean, there's a lot of it. The way the New York Times lies is by omission. They don't tell you things that are really sort of a relevant part of the story. No shit. All right, so I wanted to play the whole thing for you so I could just go down her list of claims and address them individually. Because if you weren't already buying the official state position on Ray Epps, this interview certainly didn't make you change your position, especially if you're well informed and not just repeating the dubious claims of the New York Times. All right, so her first claim is that the New York Times explained everything in detail about why Ray Epps was there. The New York Times had a full and complete description 
of why Ray Epps was there. Miss Coulter, we never needed the New York Times to explain anything to us because we have those pesky videos people like you like to downplay or pretend don't exist at all. No, Anne, the New York Times prevented a spin hack job to portray the only guy on video literally telling people to storm the Capitol as some sort of a victim. All right, now on to claim two that Ray Epps was somehow defamed. I'm sorry, what? How in the world do you defame a guy who is on video for multiple days telling people to enter the Capitol and even storm the Capitol? Um, how he was defamed and had to sell his business and his wife. He's on video doing the very thing he's being accused of doing. So how exactly has he been defamed? They seriously got to Coulter. She must be broke and they offered her a gig if she did this. Nothing else makes sense. I challenge you and Coulter to come on my channel and make a fool of me because you you must know something that I don't. All right, now, number three. If you have any questions about Ray Epps, it's because you're a wacky conspiracy theorist. And she backs this up by saying he was a big fan of Trump. Um, He was a true Trump supporter. He was going right. after his nephew. The nephew? You mean the nephew that Ray Epps sent a text message telling him that he orchestrated it? Here we go again. She's just going down the list of talking points that we always hear from Democrats and their media. Who cares if he was a Trump supporter? How does that change any of Ray Epps' actions? He could be be a Trump supporter and still be working for the government. How can you even prove that he was a Trump supporter anyway? It's just a shit argument that has no relevance. All right, now number four, and I love this one, is that Tucker was bad somehow because he kept playing the video of Ray Epps saying that he wanted people to go into the Capitol. The the clip that Tucker kept playing of him saying, and then we're gonna go into the Capitol or something like that. Isn't this for real? Anne, are you okay? Seriously. You just totally glossed over the main problem with Ray Epps. While theatrically rolling your eyes and treating Tucker Carlson, a journalist, as some kind of a pest for showing us this video. She has no answers to any of these questions, just eye rolls and state media talking points. Oh, I love this one, number five, that he was only inciting a riot to storm the Capitol the night before, and that's no big deal. And then the coup de grace to my sanity. She acts like it's no big deal that he was inciting people to storm the Capitol the night before because he whispered to one guy just before the riot started to don't go into the Capitol. The the clip that Tucker kept playing of him saying, and then we're going to go into the Capitol or something like that. That was the night before. The right. day of he and the person he was whispering to both told the FBI separately, no, he was telling us don't go in, don't go in, don't go in. Mm -hmm. And they both allegedly told the FBI that, which just debunks the whole thing. And that's the end of that chapter. Except there's many legitimate questions to be asked. Like one, the riot literally started as he was whispering to this guy. Epps pulled this agitated rioter aside and said something. Conspiracists say he was giving marching orders because seconds later, this happened. Two, he may have known the guy he whispered to, and perhaps they coordinated on stories. Three, maybe he did say something, and maybe he did it to warn this guy. Four, there's zero evidence that's what he whispered to this guy. And even if he did, it doesn't negate the fact that he was inciting people to literally storm the Capitol. We're here to storm the Capitol, hell yeah. Lastly, how dumb do you have to be to believe the guy who was inciting a riot and telling people to storm the Capitol tried to stop it by whispering to one guy just as the riot started. I don't think so. And of course, he was only charged with a misdemeanor disorderly conduct, not a felony inciting of an insurrection. And Anne, Ray Epps himself described his own actions on January the 6th as, quote, orchestrating it. That's what he said in his own words. And yet this guy who's on video literally inciting an insurrection is treated as a victim by the very same people in the media and in the Democrat party who are bloodthirsty for anybody involved in January 6th, even if they peacefully walked around and then left. No, these are all legitimate questions that deserve legitimate answers. So yeah, Ann Coulter and the state want you to ignore your lying eyes and ears and believe that Ray Epps is a victim because he supposedly whispered to one guy not to enter the Capitol just before the riot. Like I pointed out, Donald Trump told people to march peacefully and that's what over 120,000 people did that day. It was a relatively small group of people that got violent that day and it's not hard to imagine that Ray Epps was able to incite that group. Group. All right, folks, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you've watched this long, might as well hit that like button. See you all in the next one.